here at USIC, I start my day every morning I am in my own driveway with my own company truck. I start out each morning checking our ticket management system. Uh, that lets me know where our, my first job site will be, uh, as well as what utilities I'll be looking for once I arrive on site. And the system will also give me a driving route for the day. I started out as a locate technician for the uh, major project side doing fiber overbuild in neighborhoods that were already established and people were living in. I did that for approximately two years. Uh, then I moved to the production side where I worked by myself on tickets, at which point I moved into a field trainer position where after you come out of the classroom portion, you know, you, you spend two to three weeks with me and learn how to actually locate each utility. I did that for approximately a year and then I moved into the uh, field supervisor position. There are some potential hazards to the job, but USIC empowers us to stay safe. If at any time I don't feel safe, I can call a timeout and contact my supervisor. One of my favorite aspects of this job is the independence. Uh, we're usually on our own, so we're trusted to be self-starters and to stay on task. Thankfully, many people call 811 before they dig, which allows us to get out on site and locate any underground utilities such as electric or gas lines that may be in their path. People may not realize it, but each utility has its own specific color and flag. Yellow is for gas, orange is for communications, and red is for electric. So what I'm doing here is going to hook my equipment up to this switch gear. Uh, the first step is to ground out uh, to create a ground path return at least three feet away. And once that's complete, turn my equipment on, select the lowest possible frequency, and then make our connection. Some of the things that locate technicians face or come across when on a job site, uneven terrain, you know, there's a lot of walking involved, so you need to uh, always keep your head on a swivel, you know, make sure that you understand where you're going. Uh, there's a lot of potential hazards on a job site. We're lucky we've had a lot of nice weather here lately, but the fact of the matter is we work outside. Whether it's rain, sleet, snow, we work in it. Locate technicians always know you know, where they're supposed to be and what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, we have a ticket management system that lets them know what their next job is. That's called a ticket. And then each ticket has uh, locates on it. And then a locate is, you know, each specific utility. For instance, you could have uh, telephone, cable, electric, gas, water, and sewer on a ticket. And each individual utility is referred to as a locate. You may complete one ticket, but do six or seven locates for that one individual ticket. So troubleshooting is something that we do every day. Locating is not as always straightforward as it seems. Right now we're hooked up, everything's on, but we're not putting a signal onto our target facility. My experience tells me that the other end of this phone line is not bonded, so we'll go ahead and go bond that up. Okay, so now that we've bonded up the other end, we'll check for stray voltage. There is none. Now we'll hook our equipment up. And we're putting a signal. The type of person that would be a good fit for a locate technician is somebody who enjoys spending time outside, somebody who's not bothered by the heat or the cold, rain, things along those lines. You also have to be uh, a self-starter. The training here at USIC is, is, is top tier. They can take somebody off the street that, that has no idea about underground utilities and, and after a few months, you know, they're an effective and safe locator. We don't micromanage. You're given a task, conditions and standards, and you're expected to, to perform. Even experienced locators need help from time to time, and help's only a phone call away. I just received a phone call from a technician that needs help. So we're gonna go do that now. To locate the underground utilities, we use uh, specialized equipment that puts a radio frequency on the utility uh, so that we can determine where it's buried at 
It can be overwhelming at first, um, not understanding how the equipment works or, or why it works that way, but don't let it intimidate you. Eventually you will understand how it works and why it is working the way it does. How you doing, Kirk? All right, how you doing there? Yeah, I'm having problems with running, trying to run this uh, cable right here. Have you hooked up down here? Uh, no. Okay, um, let's grab your equipment, hook up in this pedestal down here and we'll run through all our frequencies and see if we can't get a tone on it. Okay, all right. So one of the best pieces of advice that I received when I was first starting out here at USIC uh, was to give it time. Everybody learns at a different pace, some quicker than others. Typically, I would say give it 12 months. By then, you know, you're gonna have a firm grasp of what you're doing and why you're doing it. 